In this affiliate marketing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon affiliate marketing website step by step. I will specifically show you how to create an Amazon affiliate marketing website with WordPress. WordPress is the free software that we are going to use in order to create our website and also customize it the way we want. And don't worry if you are new to WordPress because I'm going to hold your hand every step of the way. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully customizable affiliate marketing website to start making money with. In fact, this website is a completely done for you website. All what you need to do is go ahead and download it, import it onto your own website and you are good to go. Now, this is the home page of the website we will be creating in this tutorial. It's just a short home page where we have a hero section that displays some little information about your website. So this will tell your users in a brief what your website is all about. In my case, I'm going to be talking about travel guides. Since Amazon has a lot of products for you to promote, you can promote just about any product and you can choose any kind of niche you want. Going down, these three blog posts are random blog posts. So it will always display three of your posts randomly. The next section gives us information on a little bit about our blog. And finally, we have a section that displays our latest blog post. And at the moment, I'm displaying six of them. Finally, we have the footer section where we have this menu that houses some of our boring pages like the about us, contact us, and then some legal pages that is privacy and terms of conditions pages. We also have social icons at the right, which I'll be showing you how to add. With this affiliate marketing website tutorial, we'll be concentrating on two forms of articles. That is bias guys and beginners guys. Let's go over to one of the guys that is bias guys. This is how the page will look like. It will display all the bias guides you'll be having on your website. And looking at the right side of the page, we have this cool search feature, five of our most recent blog posts, and finally some categories. The search box is a live search box. When I click in there and I begin to type best, it will open up article that has the word best in them. Now let's open a single blog post to see how it looks like. The single blog post shows the title of the post, some meta information, that is the name of the author, the last date on which the article was updated, and the category in which the article was posted in. In this case, it was posted in Bias Guys. Next is the featured image of the article. Going down, you will now see the main content of the article. I'll also show you how you can add this table of contents so that users of your website can easily use it to jump to any part of the article. So if I want to go to this particular product, all what I need to do is just go ahead and click on it and it will take me right to the product. I'll be showing you how you can add all the products you'll be promoting onto your website. To create this beautiful website, we are going to use only free resources. The only thing you need to pay for is a domain name and a web hosting, which is a standard for every website. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can get your very own custom domain name and web hosting. So if you like what you have seen so far and want to create your very own affiliate marketing website, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Before we get started, let's look at what affiliate marketing is. If this is your first time of hearing about affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing is the process of promoting someone's product to earn a commission. Let me give you an example. There is this online store that sells laptops in fact they sell all kinds of laptops and here is a buyer who is looking for the best gaming laptops to buy but they don't know the exact laptop they can buy in order to use it for their gaming purposes so this is where you as an affiliate comes in all what you need to do as an affiliate is to write a content on your website that talks about the best gaming laptops for 2023 this piece of content you'll be writing on your website should be good enough so that when you said go to any search engine to search for the best gaming laptops for 2023, chances of your article being able to show up in the search results will be high. 
So if the user finds your link and click on it and get your website and they decide that they want to buy one of the products you are promoting, all what they need to do is click on the particular product and it will take them to the platform you are promoting. When they finally make a purchase through your unique affiliate link, that is where you will be making a commission. And a good place to start as an affiliate is by joining the Amazon Affiliate Program, since they are well known and also have a good conversion rate. So as an affiliate, your job is to help your users make the best buying decisions. To get started with affiliate marketing, you cannot just go talking about any kind of product in the market. You just have to choose a particular area or product you are conversant with. So that's it in a brief what affiliate marketing is all about. Now that we know what affiliate marketing is, let's start with the first step that is to get our custom domain name and web hosting. To make any kind of website, you need to get a domain name and a web hosting, which is a standard for every website. Now, what is a domain name? A domain name is simply the address of your website. For example, your business name.com, google.com, facebook.com, or even digupages.com. Now, what is a web hosting? A web hosting is simply a server where all the text, images, videos, audios, and even documents of our website will be stored so that anybody around the world can have access to them on our website wherever they are. This server is sitting somewhere in the world which runs 24-7 so that our website will always be live across the internet. To get your very own custom domain name and web hosting, click on the very first link in the description down below or you can go over to your browser and enter jikupages.com forward slash asura. Hit enter. And this brings me to Asura hosting. Next, I go ahead and click on web hosting. And in here, I'll choose the particular plan that I want to use for my website. So they have starter, unlimited and unlimited plus. So you go ahead and choose the particular package depending upon your requirements. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the starter plan. So I click on order now. And I choose a domain. You can register a new domain. You can transfer your domain from another registrar or if you already have a domain registered somewhere, you can use that domain and update your name service. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can register a new domain. So under search domain, I search for my domain name. Deco pages site. Next is domain extension. You can go ahead and drop down the arrow and choose the domain extension you want but I'll keep it as .com and I'll click on search and my domain name is available for $9.99 I go ahead and click on continue and these are the various features I'll get under the startup plan going down you can go ahead and choose the particular billing cycle you want I'll keep mine as annually and I'll click on continue under domain configurations I'll get free DNS management and free email forwarding. Now go ahead and click on continue. Now the web hosting for the startup plan is $12 per year and domain registration is $9.99 per year, which brings everything to $21.99 per year. So going down, I can choose my currency from here. I'll leave it as USD. Next is billing details. So in here, you need to go ahead and fill all these fields. So I'll go ahead and do this pretty quick and click on checkout and after clicking on checkout Asura hosting will send you your login details to the cPanel account in your email address so I click on checkout and meet you in my email so after the checkout Asura hosting will send you some emails and you need to check for Asura hosting dash hosting account information and I have mine right here going down under control panel login information these are the details I'm going to use in order to log into my control panel account. I've hidden it for obvious reasons. So what I'm going to do is I'll highlight the server login URL. I'll right click on it, open link in a new tab. Then in order to log in, I'll go ahead and grab the username and password, then go to the login page. So I'm in the login page. I go ahead and enter my username and password. Then I click on sign in. And this brings us to our web hosting control panel. So that's it on how you can get a domain name and web hosting with Asura.
The next thing we are going to do is install WordPress on our web hosting. To do that, just go over to the search box right here, then you search for Softstar Close. I've not finished typing it and I have it right here. That is Softer Close Auto Installer. This is the software we are going to use to install WordPress. With Softer Close Auto Installer, you are just a few clicks away from installing WordPress. So I'll go ahead and click on it. And right here, you see WordPress. All what you need to do is just go ahead and click on install. If for any reason you cannot see WordPress here, you can go over to blocks, click on it, then you click on WordPress. From here, you can scroll down and click on install now. And it will bring you to this interface. Under choose protocol, make sure HTTPS is selected. If you cannot see HTTPS, make sure you drop down the arrow, then you go ahead and select it. If you want to have www as part of your domain name, you can go ahead and select this particular one. But I prefer to use this, so I make sure it is selected. And I choose domain, you see the domain name you just registered. If you have so many domains, you can drop down the arrow and choose the particular domain you want to install WordPress on. For now, we have only one. In directory, you don't want to put anything there. So whatever you have in directory, make sure you take it off. Next is size settings, where we can choose a name for our website and also give it a size description. Don't worry about this for now. I will show you how you can change the name of your website as well as the site description when we finally install WordPress. Under admin account, this is where you can go ahead and choose a username, password, as well as enter an email address, which you always use to log into your WordPress website. So the username, I will just use my name. And then the password, I hide it for obvious reasons. The admin email, I prefer to use my Gmail account. I have it right here. I select it. Going down to the bottom, I click on install. And WordPress will be installed in some few seconds, depending upon how fast your internet connection is. All right. Congratulations. The software was installed successfully. And right here, you see two different links. The first one is your exact domain name. Upon clicking on it, it will take you to the front end of your website. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. So this is the front end of our website. This is what users will see when they enter our domain name into their web browsers. I exit out of here. Now, the second one is administrative URL. Clicking on this will take you to the back end of your WordPress website. Looking at it, after your domain name, you see wp-admin. This URL is what you always enter into your address bar anytime you want to log in into your WordPress website. So we click on it and it will take us to the back end of our WordPress website. Awesome. Now that we have WordPress installed on our domain name, the next thing we are going to do is to design our website. And the good news about designing our website is that we are not going to do everything from scratch. I already have a done for you website. All what we need to do is go ahead and download it and import onto our website. To download our pre-made website, we open a new tab. Then we go ahead and enter dpages.com forward slash blog site. If you don't want to enter this URL onto your web browser, you can also go to the video description, you will find this link there. Then you go ahead and click on it to take you to a page where you can download your pre-made website. I already have it, so I'm not going to go through the download. So I exit out of here. Then the next thing we need to do is go ahead and import the website. To do that, we are going to use a WordPress plugin. So we go ahead and install the plugin by hovering on plugins, click on add new. Under search plugin, we search for WPVV. I have WPVV right here. It's a plugin that can be used to migrate a website. You can also use it to create a backup of your website. We go ahead and click on install now. Meanwhile, we can exit from here. We don't need it anymore. It is installed. We activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Next, we go over to upload right here, click on it. 
Then from here, we can drag and drop our file. Or you can easily click on select files. Then it will take you to your download folder. I have my download right here. I just go ahead and select it. Then I click on open. And it will appear right here. I go ahead and click on upload. And the upload has started. As you can see right here. So how fast it will upload will depend upon your internet speed. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get back to you when it is finally uploaded. All right, the upload has completed. It took me about seven minutes to get uploaded. I just go ahead and click on OK and the page will reload. And you'll see the uploaded website right here. Perfect. Next, we go ahead and click on restore. And from here, we click on restore. Are you sure you want to continue? Okay. And the restoration is started. It should be noted that you don't need to close this page or switch to other pages when the restore task is running. So you patiently have to wait for it to finish restoring. All right, as you can see, it's running. All right, restore completed successfully. I click on OK and it will log me out of the website. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and sign in onto the website. Take note the login details you used when you were installing WordPress will not work anymore because this new website we have just uploaded is coming with its own username and password. But don't worry, I will show you how we can choose our username and password after we have logged in onto the website. So the username you are going to use is Tiku Pages. I will display it on the screen right now. And the password is the same thing, Tiku Pages. Click on login. And it will take us to the dashboard of our website. Now, if you hover on the name of the website right here, then click on visit site. It will take us to the front end of the website. And this is how the website will look like. Very neat and clean. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Now that we have logged in onto our WordPress website, the next thing we need to do is choose a name and password for our website. Take note, this is the username we are using currently, that is Diku Pages, and the password is also Diku Pages. So whoever imports this website is going to be using these details in order to log into the website. And we don't want other people to have access to our website. So the next thing we are going to do is choose a name as well as a password for our website. To do that, we go to the back end of our website by hovering on the name of the website right here. Click on Dashboard. Next, we go over to Users, then we click on Add New. So this is where we are going to create a new user for ourselves, where we choose a username as well as a password. You may want to repeat the username and password you selected when you were installing WordPress. In my case, I'll use the same thing, so I enter in Swadik as the username. Next, I go ahead and enter in my email. I'll enter sesodic at gmail.com. You can choose to enter your first and last name if you want. It's not mandatory, but I'll enter that. So I have Swadic here, and then last name, Abu Bakari. Next, you go ahead and enter in your password. I'll hide it for obvious reasons. And finally, the rule. You drop down the arrow and make sure you select administrator because you want to be the administrator of the website. Then we go ahead and click on add new user. Now the new user is added. That is what we are seeing right here. And this is the original user that is Diku Pages. So what we are going to do is go ahead and log out of the website. Then we log in using the details we just created. So mine is Swadik and the password, I go ahead and enter it. Hit enter and it will bring us to the dashboard of our website. Next, we click on users. Now we can go ahead and kick out this Tiku Pages username. So upon hovering on it, you just click on delete. Now, WordPress will want you to either delete all the content on the website or attribute it to the new user that is yourself. So if you want to delete all the content, you can just go ahead and click on delete all content. Or if you don't want to delete it and you want to attribute it to the new user, that is yourself, you can go ahead and select attribute all contents to yourself. Then you click on confirm deletion. Let me show you the content we are talking about here. 
if I go over to the name of my website, right click on visit start, open link in a new tab. This is the content right here. These are dummy content I put on the website so that it will hold the spaces for you to see how beautiful the website is or how content will be displayed when you start creating the content. If I go over to the blog page, you see the various content and how they are being displayed on the blog page. You also see the most recent blog posts at the sidebar of the page. Since these are dummy content, let's go ahead and delete them. So we go back right here. Then we select delete all content. Click on confirm deletion. Now the user Jiku pages is gone and it is left with your very own username. Now if you go to the front end of the website and refresh, all the content will go. If you go over to the home page, everything here will be blank. As you can see, no post. So when we begin to create our own post, they will appear at the various locations. The next thing we are going to do is clean up and also set up our website. To do that, we go to the back end. The first thing we are going to do is go over to appearance, then we click on teams. In here, you see that we have our four teams. Meanwhile, this is the active team. That means that we don't need the rest of the teams we are seeing right here. So we go ahead and delete them. To do that, we click on Team Details, click on Delete, OK. Team Details, Delete, OK. And finally, Team Details, Delete, OK. And we are left with only one team. Awesome. Next, we go over to Plugins. In here, you see that some of the teams are not activated. For instance, this particular one is not activated. And for you to know that it is not activated, you see activate right under it. The ones that are activated, you see deactivate. For instance, this particular one, this one, and this one. So we are going to delete some of them. We don't need this plugin, so we select it. This one as well, we'll go ahead and select it. So I scroll up, click on ball actions, delete, apply. Okay. And they are gone. You can also go ahead and delete the WP Vivid Backup plugin if you don't need it. But it will be good if you always create a backup of your WordPress website. Just in case something happens, you can come back and restore it. Next, we go over to WP Vivid Backup. Just click on it. Scrolling down, this is the website we imported earlier. Since we already have our website imported, we don't need this anymore. So we just go ahead and click on delete right here. Then click on OK and it is gone. Next, let's go over to settings, then we click on general. Remember when we were installing WordPress, I said I'll be showing you how to change the name of your website and also the site description. Well, this is where you can go ahead and do that. Remember when we were installing, the site title was my blog, but because we have imported a website which is already bearing this name, that is why we are seeing this. So all what we need to do is just go ahead and take it off. Then we enter the name we want to use for our website. So I enter Diku Express. The site tagline, I take it off and I go ahead and enter. Next is administrative email address. Make sure you remove this email address right here. Then you go ahead and enter in your own email address. So I enter sesuadic at gmail.com. Next is time zone. Here my own is set to Accra because I'm in Ghana. So you may want to go ahead and select your own time zone from here. For me, I leave it as Accra. Going down, I click on Save Changes. And right here, it will indicate that there is a pending change of the admin email address to this particular email. So in order to completely change the email address, a link will be sent to the email address you have entered. All what you need to do is go in there and confirm it. So I'll quickly log into my email account. All right, right here, I have the email. It didn't come into my inbox. It came into the promotions folder. I just go ahead and open it up. Then I click on this link right here to confirm my change. And it will take me back to my WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, I now have the new email address right here. Perfect. I exit from here, here, and here for now. Next, let's go over to pages to make sure all our pages are intact. All right, we have the about us page, blog page, contact us, home, privacy. 
there's no terms and conditions page if you go over to trash you see that there's a value right there that is one that means there's something right there i think i made a mistake by deleting it so in your case you also see that under trash you see one so let's go ahead and click on it and right there is the terms and conditions page just click on restore after clicking on restore you now see that we have a draft meaning it is not published on our website if we go over to all you see terms and conditions and it is indicated draft to publish the page just click on quick edit then under status we drop down the arrow then change it from draft to published then go ahead and click on update now all our pages are intact perfect next let's go ahead and customize the home page of our website to do that first of all we go over to the home page of our website just by clicking on the name of our website right here and it will take us to the home page all what you are seeing on the home page are dummy content let's go ahead and change them to do that we click on edit page exit from here the first thing you may want to do is go ahead and change the background of the banner here to do that just hover here and click upon clicking make sure you see row layout right here that indicates that this particular row is selected then right here you have background settings just click on it then you can go ahead and choose a color from here by selecting it from here you can choose whatever color you want maybe if i need a blue color i click somewhere here and i can hold here and get a particular shading i want maybe something like this or this if you don't want to use background color you can also use an image so we can select an image from here select files let's assume we are going to use this i just select it then i click on open it is uploaded i click on select and you see it right there if we update it is updated now if i open a new tab then i enter my website address Diku express hit enter you see the background image awesome however in my case i don't want to have a background image i rather want to change the image right here so i go back and then under background image i just click on the exit right here to take it off and the color i take it back to the original color which is this gray color next i go ahead and change this text right here just by selecting it it is activated so all what i need to do is click from here and highlight up this end i enter best travel guys for you it is in three lines i don't need it in three lines so what i can do is reduce the size of the text and i can do that from here that is font size at the moment it is set to 80 i just click on the down arrow to decrease it so that it will be in two lines i also want to reduce the line height and i can do that from here just hold it and drag it back and i think this is cool that is 78 next i change this text right here just by highlighting it i already have my text copied to clipboard i just go ahead and paste it in there next i go ahead and change this image just by selecting it upon selecting the image up here you see replace just go ahead and click on it then you click on open media library this is the image i want to use remember i uploaded it earlier if you don't have the image right here you can go over to upload files then you go ahead and select the file you want to use since i already have it in my media library i'll just click in here and i go ahead and select it i click on select perfect going down we don't need to do anything here it is already set for us when we begin to add blog posts some of them will appear here as well as down here next thing we want to customize is this section right here so instead of about the pages minimal blog I'll take this out and I'll say Jiku Express Travel Guys. Next, I go ahead and enter in the about information of my blog. So I'll just highlight everything, take it off. I'll just go ahead and paste my content in there, something short. We can also create a link and link it to the about page of our website. So I say learn more. 
maybe I bring three dots, then I go ahead and highlight it. I click on link icon right here, then I search for about. You see that I have the about us page right here. Click on it to insert the link. Now everything here is set. I go ahead and update. Going back to the front end, I refresh and everything is changed. Perfect. Now if I click on this link, it will take me to the about page. Since we are already here, let's go ahead and change the about content by clicking on edit page. I remove everything from here. Then I go ahead and paste in my content. Update. We can view the page. Perfect. Next, let's edit the contact page. We click on it. And we see that we have a contact form. Just go ahead and click on edit. Upon selecting the contact form, just click anywhere in the form. It doesn't matter either name, email, or message field. Then at the right side, we click on email settings. Take note, the email settings are two. We have one on top right here, not this one. Make sure you click on the second one where we have email to address. So this is where you want to enter the email address where messages will be sent to. So I just click in here and I go ahead and enter in my email address. I leave the rest as they are. Then I go ahead and click on update. It is updated. We can go ahead and view the page. Awesome. So if users of our website fill this form and submit, the message will go to the email address I just entered. Now the last two pages we want to talk about is privacy and terms and conditions pages. If we click on privacy policy page, at the moment it is empty. So what you need to do is just go ahead and click on edit page. Then in here, you just go ahead and enter the content to your privacy policy page. If you don't have a privacy policy yet, you can look at other websites and see how they have crafted their privacy policies. For now, I'll leave mine as empty. I'll come back later to update it. So after entering your content right here, you just go ahead and click on update in order to update your page. Let's view the page. Similarly, you go over to terms and conditions page. You click on edit page, enter in your content, then you go ahead and update. And now we are done editing the pages of our website. Before you start creating content for your website, you may want to create categories for your website first. So let's go ahead and do that. To create the categories, we go to the back end of our website. Then we go ahead and click on the WordPress logo right here. And it will take us to the dashboard. Next, we hover on post. Then we click on categories. By default, WordPress will give you this and categorize category. Unfortunately, you cannot delete it. So what I always do is that I just replace it with one of the categories I want to have on my website. To do that, I click on quick edit and I go ahead and take off the name. Take note, we are going to be talking about bias guides and beginners guides. So I'll enter bias guide. Then the slack, I just take it off. Then I go ahead and click on update category. And the slack will be entered automatically for me next i create a new category by clicking on the name then i enter beginner's guide now i go ahead and click on add new category perfect for now we are going to use these two categories now that we have our categories the next thing we are going to do is customize our website if we go over to the front end of the website you see that we still have this name as the name of our website that is Diku pages minimal blog and the tagline is giving us something else that is my money making blog let's see how we can customize it to customize our website we click on customize right here we want to change the name so we can just hover on it then we click on this blue icon right here and this is where we can change the name by highlighting it i take it off and i enter Diku express the tagline i take it off the best travel guide for you. If you don't want to display the sad tagline, you can just go ahead and toggle it off from here. And it is gone, but I need it, so I bring it back. The next thing we want to customize is the menu. To do that, we go back, back, then we scroll down to menus. In here, we have two menus. We have footer menu and main menu. This is the main menu. 
and scrolling down right here is the footer menu we are going to customize the main menu we click on add items and we are going to add the two categories we created earlier so we drop down the arrow right here under categories then we select buyers guides and then beginners guides they will all appear right here i want them to appear under block as sub menus so what i do is i click on buyers guides i drag it right here and make sure it is indented then i drop i do the same thing to beginners guides like this and now they are under the block menu let's go ahead and publish now if we hover on block you see the two links unfortunately the hover color is not visible so let's go ahead and change it to change it all what we need to do is hover on the menu right here then we click on this blue icon scrolling down we go over to drop down options then we click on design in here you see the default state color the initial color is white but upon hover it is turning into blue so we can change the hover color by clicking here and change it to white perfect or better still we can leave it as blue then we change the background color and this is where we can change the background color that is items background color see that the default state is blue we select it then we go ahead and choose white now if you go over there you see that the background colors are white but then the text are not showing so what we do is we exit from this color then the default state color we choose black coming back you see them right there perfect now everything is visible meanwhile the text is very small we don't want it this small we exit from this color then under font you see that it is set to 12 let's go ahead and click on it then let's make it 14 let's see how it will come up okay maybe you can make it 16 i think 16 is cool everything is set then i click on publish now let's exit out of here and we have our menu right here perfect so if you hover on block then we click on buyers guides the page will be empty simply because we have not created any blog post yet now this is one way of adding your categories to the menu i've just done this to show you the possibility this is not the style i want to use so let me show you how i want my menu to look like to do that i click on customize again and scrolling down i click on menus main menu the home page i don't want it to be part of my menu so what i do is i drop down the arrow here then i click on remove and then blog i don't want it to be part of my menu i do the same thing right here remove and you see that buyers guys beginners guys are now in line with about us and contact us and that's why you are now seeing them right here with this users can easily navigate my website instead of them pointing on blog to have a drop down the next thing to do is customize my social icons right here to do that i hover on it then i go ahead and click on the blue icon right here and it will take us to where we can add social media icons at the moment it is displaying facebook twitter and instagram if you want to add more all what you need to do is drop down the arrow right here then you search for the particular social media icon you want to use so if i want youtube i just search for youtube then i go ahead and click on it then click on the plus icon right here and it will be added as you can see right here if you don't need a particular one for instance twitter you can go ahead and disable it from here by clicking on the eye icon you see that it's gone or better still you can just exit it from here completely after getting your social icons next we go ahead and enter in the social links to do that we go back back then we scroll up to general options in here we have social network accounts just click on it and the first one we have is facebook this is where you want to enter the link to your facebook page when that is done you scroll down to instagram right here then you enter the link and finally you scroll to youtube or whichever social account you are using then you go ahead and enter the link appropriately 
at the moment i don't have social links for my website so i just leave them as empty for now all is set i go ahead and publish then i exit from here now all the editing and customization of our website is done the next thing we are going to do is to start adding content onto our website and to do that i'll advise you to first of all go ahead and join the amazon affiliate marketing program so to do that we head over to amazon.com i open up a new tab and i enter amazon.com hit enter upon landing on amazon.com just scroll down to the bottom part of the page and then make money with us you go ahead and click on become an affiliate right here then from this page you go ahead and click on sign up if you already have an account you can just go ahead and enter in your email and password then you click on sign in but if you don't have an account you simply go ahead and click on create your amazon account i'm not going to go through this since i've already prepared a separate video for you as to how you can sign up onto the amazon affiliate marketing program i'll leave the video in the description down below so you can go ahead and check it out so we're signing up onto the amazon affiliate marketing program out of the way now let's go ahead and start adding content onto our website now to add content onto your website you first of all have to do a research and find out what people are searching for you don't just get a random topic and start writing your article on it so let's assume we are going to write about gaming laptops what we need to do is go over to google then we search for gaming laptops hit enter now after entering your keywords what you need to do is go through the search results for instance look at this particular one best gaming laptops in 2022 this one is saying best gaming laptops gaming laptops for pc gaming best gaming laptops 2022 so looking at all these search results it seems there's no website that talks about specific thing with regards to best gaming laptops they are all talking about best gaming laptops 2022 you can also go ahead and add the best here so instead of you just writing on best gaming laptops in 2022 you can say best gaming laptops and uh, you see that after adding under you get more suggestions so i have best gaming laptops maybe under one thousand dollars best gaming laptops under one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in that order so you can decide that you want to write on the best gaming laptops under one thousand dollars so let's go ahead and choose the first one that is best gaming laptops under one thousand dollars and as you can see other people have written on that particular topic you saying best gaming laptops under one thousand dollars meaning you are being specific so the best thing you need to do is open up some of the top results you have found on google to see some of the points they have missed so that you make sure you add it onto your article with this chances of you ranking higher on google search will be high one other thing you may want to consider looking at is people also ask these questions right here are very relevant when it comes to writing content like this as you can see this question is saying which laptop is best for gaming under 1000 what is the best and cheapest gaming laptop in 2022 what is the best gaming laptop but cheap so as you begin to open any of the questions up google will suggest more questions as you can see if i open this one the more you go the more questions you get one other way to get suggested topics is by going to the bottom part of the search results here you see what other people are searching for on google now that you've gotten your topic the next thing to do is start writing your content if you already have the products you want to promote in mind then it will be easy for you to just get started right away but if you don't already have the products you want to promote you may want to consider going to amazon.com so let's open up amazon.com then we search for gaming laptops hit enter from here you will be presented with a whole lot of solutions as you can see if you get the particular one you want to use for instance this one what you need to do is just go ahead and click on it and this is where you get the title of the particular product you want to write on so if i want to write on this one my title will be msi gv15 
15.6 inches gaming laptop that would be my title you don't have to copy the whole of this as your title after getting the title the next thing you want to do is come over to about this item this is where you can get much information about the particular item you want to write on so you just have to get these pieces together and come out with an article about this product since you'll be talking about a couple of products in one article you don't need to write much on every single product by the time you start writing from the first product up to the last product you should be able to get enough number of ways for your article however the more content you have for every single article the better your chances of ranking high on google search now that we've gotten the products we want to promote let's start writing the content so i'll exit out of here and here for now so let's go ahead and create our very first post to do that you can hover on new then you go ahead and click on post so the first thing we do is add the title of our article i've just used the gaming laptops as an example since my affiliate marketing website is on travel my title should be travel related and i'm going to talk about the best solar lanterns for camping so i go ahead and enter in my title i will specifically add best solar lanterns for camping under hundred dollars Next, I click in here and I start writing my content. I've just entered my first paragraph and it is important you make sure that your keywords is part of your first paragraph. As you can see here, I have best solar lanterns for camping. My first paragraph is done. I just click at the end here, hit enter to start writing my second paragraph. I'll just enter this pretty quick. All right, I've just entered my second paragraph. And as you can see right here, I have best solar lanterns for camping. So it is important you add as many of your keywords as possible. And my recommendation is that your keywords should appear on your article at least four times. The best practice about writing your article is always try to save it as a draft so that you won't lose your content when something goes wrong. And the reason why you may want to consider saving it as a draft is that you don't want people to see the article when you are not done writing it. So if I save it as a draft, you see that it is in a draft mode. So in future, when I'm done, I can easily go ahead and publish it. We can take a preview of it. So this is how it will look like. And it's still looking skeletal. Maybe adding a featured image will give you some flesh. So let's go back to our post. I click to exit from the preview then we go over to post going down to featured image we click on it then we go ahead and click on set featured image i go over to upload files select files i have my featured image right here just click on it then i click on open it is uploaded the dimensions of my featured image is 1000 by 500 pixels so you may want to consider using these dimensions or something closer to that we just go ahead and click on set featured image and you see it right here now let's go over to preview and take a look and you see our featured image right here which will make our blog post appealing going back let's go ahead and enter our first product so i click right here and i go ahead and hit enter since i already know the products i want to talk about i'll just enter the name right here enter then I go ahead and write about the product. I will do this pretty quick. All right, I've entered content about the product. One thing you may want to consider doing is change the name of the product into a heading. So you just select it. Upon selecting it, you see this pop up right here. You just go ahead and click on paragraph. Then you click on heading. By default, it will give you heading 2, that is H2. What you want to do is click on the H2, then you change it to H3 next let's go ahead and add an image for this particular product since users will want to have a visual of the particular product they want to buy i already have the link to this particular product so i just go ahead and open it up in amazon open a new tab then i enter my link hit enter when you land on the product page of the particular product you want to promote you cannot just go ahead and start copying the images from there amazon doesn't really like that so what you want to do is come over to this menu right here that is amazon associates site stripe when you are not logged into your amazon account you wouldn't see this 
and you only get to see this when you sign up onto the Amazon affiliate program. So to get our image, we click on image right here. Then you can choose the size if you want to use small, medium or large. For this, I'll choose large. And right here is the code that you can use to embed this particular image onto your website. So let's go ahead and copy it. Right click, click on copy. Then I come back to my blog post. I just hover in the middle and I see this plus icon that is add blog. Click on it. Then I go ahead and search for HTML. That is custom HTML. Just go ahead and click on it. Then you go ahead and paste in the code you just copied from Amazon. Perfect. Let's preview to see how it will come up. We can preview it from here to see how it will come up. All right, so this is how it will appear on our page. And this will also serve as a link to the product on Amazon. So your visitors can easily go ahead and click on it and you pick them to the particular product for them to make a purchase. Next thing we want to do is add a button under this product so that users can easily go ahead and click on it to take them to the product page. It should be noted that there is no unique way of doing this. Some people prefer adding the button immediately under the image of the product. Others will prefer to add it under the main description of the product. For now, let's add it under the main description of the product. So I click right here and I hit enter. Now upon hovering right here where you have the insertion point, you see this plus icon. Just go ahead and click on it. That is add block. Then you search for button. I have buttons right here. I click on it. Upon adding the button, then we enter buy on Amazon. Or you can say check price on Amazon, whichever one you want. Next, we go ahead and add the link to the product. So we go over to Amazon.com again to the particular product. We can exit from here. And this time around, we are looking for the text link. So we click on text. And this is the unique link to this particular product. You just go ahead and right click on it, copy, come back here, click on link icon right here. Then you go ahead and paste in your link. And what you want to do is make sure it opens in a new tab. So you toggle on this, then you go ahead and click on submit. If you want to change the color of the button, you can come over to block. Then under color, you click on background. Then you can choose any color you want. I want to choose this orange color. You can also increase the size of the text. To do that, you come over here. We have small, medium, large, extra large. I want to use medium for now. If you want to center the button, you can come over to align right here. Just click on it. Then go ahead and choose align center. Now entering our first product is done. So similarly, you go ahead and enter the rest of your products. Since you've gotten the idea, I'll do this pretty quick and get back to you. All right, I've entered my content. And if we go down to the bottom, you see that I've also added some conclusion. Next thing we want to do is go over to post. Then under categories, we go ahead and choose the right category for our product. Already, bias guys is selected and that is what we want. Since this article is on bias guide. You may also want to specify some tasks, which is good for search engine optimization. So I click on tax. Since we are talking about solar lanterns, I can enter solar lanterns. Hit enter to take effect. We are also talking about camping. Hit enter. And we are done. Next, we go ahead and click on publish. Publish again. And now our content is live. We can go ahead and view the post. Meanwhile, we can exit from the preview mode. Perfect. This is neat and clean. Awesome. So now if users come to our website and land on this article and they want to check out this particular product, they can easily click on the image, which will open in a new tab and then take them to amazon.com. I exit out of here. Similarly, they can use the button that is buy on Amazon and it will take them to the particular product. Perfect. Now let's see how we can make our content more readable by adding table of contents, which will help users to jump to various locations on the article. To do that, we go ahead and click on edit post. 
one thing i didn't talk about earlier is this heading right here you see that i've also repeated almost the same heading as the main title that is the best solar lantern for camping and i've just entered this little paragraph that is below are our picks on the best solar lanterns for camping under hundred dollars i've also made the heading an h2 heading remember when we were entering the products i made it h3 headings since this one is a main heading it should be h2 then this one is a subheading it should be a3 if we go over to the bottom part that is the conclusion i've made it h2 so that it will stand as a main heading now let's go ahead and add our table of content to do that we scroll to the top now under the last paragraph before the main heading here just over somewhere right here you see this plus icon go ahead and click on it then you click on browse all now from here if you search for table of contents you see i have table of contents right here there are two the second one when you hover on it you don't see a preview just go ahead and click on the first one with the first one you see that upon hovering i have a preview of my headings you just click on it and your table of content will be inserted it should be noted that this one right here is the default table of content you will get in one of the plugins i've added onto my website and this one right here is a table of content I've created and I've saved it in such a way that I can always use it anytime I want it. I go ahead and click on update. Now let's take a look by clicking on view post. Going down, see we have our table of contents here. So if users want to go to this particular product, all what they need to do is point on it, then they click. And they will be quickly taken to the particular product. Awesome. Upon creating our first blog post, you see that we have recent posts right here where it will show some of our most recent blog posts. Under that, we also have categories. So every single category you have on your website will be displayed here. Now, if we go over to the front page of our website, going down, you see that we have an article showing up right here. If we also scroll down, we have another one showing up right here. The top one will always show some random three blog posts. And then the bottom one will show six most recent blog posts. Now let's add another article to see how it will come up. And this time around, we are going to be adding a beginner's guide. So to add our article, we'll hover on new. Then we go ahead and click on post. Or if you don't want to do it from here, you can go to the back end. Then you hover on new click on post or you can go over to post click on add new either way they will all take you to the same place one thing you notice about the article interface at the left side you don't see the wordpress menu right here if you want to display it all what you need to do is go over to these three doors right here that is options click on it then you go ahead and click on full screen mode and you see the menu right here now let's enter our title I'm going to talk about some must-have travel accessories for beginners. So this one is a beginner guide. One thing you can also do when it comes to writing your blog post is to process everything in any word editor. Then you can always go ahead and copy and paste in here so that you take it from there. I already have my article right here, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy everything. So I will highlight, copy. I minimize this and I click in here. I go ahead and paste. Now I'm going through the article. You see that I don't have any headings, even though the headings are there, but they are not being recognized as headings in WordPress. So what I'm going to do from the beginning is click right here. Then I change this to a heading. To do that, I click on paragraph icon, heading, and H2 is cool. So I don't do anything here going down this is another heading i select it i choose paragraph heading and this one too is going to be h2 and then the accessory that is the mass house they are going to be h3 so the first one i have here is passport cover i select it go to paragraph heading and it will give us h2 just click on it then choose h3 Let's go to the next one. That is luggage scale, paragraph, heading. I click on H2, then I change it to H3. Similarly, I do the same thing to the rest of the headings. 
and finally conclusion i make it h2 perfect going up let's insert table of content so i hover here add block i go over to browse all i search for table of content upon hovering you see the one with the preview just click on it and it will be inserted next we go over to blog then under category we choose beginner's guide i can add some tags so i'll just say travel accessories hit enter going down i set a featured image upload files select files i have my image here open it up it is uploaded i click on set featured image and that's it we go ahead and publish publish again going to the front page let's refresh and you see it on the front page if we click on it to open it up this is how it will come up perfect the next thing we want to do is to add affiliate links onto our article to do that we head over to amazon.com now let's go back to our article the first accessory i have is passport cover so i go back to amazon then i search for passport cover wow there are so many keywords look at this one passport cover for women passport cover for men passport cover leather let's just choose passport cover and right here you see a couple of search results we are not actually going to promote a particular product what you are going to do is present our visitor with the whole of this page so to link to this page we go over to the text link right here then we go ahead and copy the short link click on copy we go back to our wordpress text editor going down to passport cover i hover under the paragraph right here to add my blog then i search for buttons remember earlier we added these simple buttons now i'm going to show you how you can use advanced button so i click on it and this is how it will come up so here i enter check passport covers on amazon then from here we go ahead and paste in our link that is our affiliate link click on submit and what you want to do is click on this drop down arrow right here the target link you drop down the arrow then you choose new window if you want to change the colors make sure it is selected by clicking on it then from here you click on block then we click on button one settings i go over to background color click on it right here so i can choose whatever color i want maybe i want something orange like this i think this will do so the color code is right here that is ea7430 so if you want to get this same color you can easily type this color code into your color code box i click back on the color to exit i want to change the text color i have it right here i click on it and i'm going to go ahead and make it white so i just click here to get my white color looking at the button is having a border color i don't need the border and this is where i can change that so i just click on the color right here then i reduce the transparency from here just drag it to the far end perfect you see that the border color is gone let's click aside to see how our button will come up now to get the button for the second item you don't need to insert a new button and redesign it again all what you need to do is select the first one then you click on this three dots icon right here next you click on duplicate and you have your button duplicated in order to move it below this particular paragraph what you need to do is make sure it is selected then you go ahead and click on this down arrow right here that is move down can you see that perfect now it's under the luggage scale we simply click in there then we go ahead and change the text so from here i remove passport covers then i enter luggage scale next thing i want to do is go over to amazon.com then i search for luggage scale hit enter 
I have some resource right here on Lagge Skill. To get the link, I go over to text. I have my short link here, right click, copy, go back to my WordPress editor. Remember the first link is still active on the button. So to edit it, you just click on this pencil icon right here. Then you go ahead and click on this clear. Then click in here, go ahead and paste in the new link. Click on apply or submit. From here, you don't need to drop down the arrow to change the settings since it was already set for the first button. You see that it is going to new window. So similarly, I do the same thing for the rest of the items I have right here. I'll do this pretty quick and get back to you. All right, I've added all my buttons. I go ahead and click on update. Perfect. Let's take a look. I refresh. Scrolling down. I have my buttons on every single item and they all have the affiliate links to the particular page where those items can be bought. Now we've just designed these buttons and we've used them on this particular article. What if you want to use it again on different articles? Let me show you how we can save this so that we'll be able to use it in future. To do that, we go back to the article in the editing mode. You can go ahead and select any of them. It doesn't really matter. So I select this. So what I want to do first of all is go ahead and duplicate the existing one. Then I change the label. Maybe I'll call it buy button. So that each time I want to use it, I can easily change the text. I don't need any link there. So I take it off. Next, I go over to options. Then I click on create reusable blog. I give it a name, I'll call it buy button. Then I click on save. And now my reusable block is created. Now after creating the button as a reusable block, just go ahead and select it. Then you take it off from the article. We don't need it there. So if in any case you want to add it anywhere in your blog post, just go over to that location. So if I scroll down to maybe somewhere here, Maybe here, I want to add it under this paragraph. Just click there. Then you go over to this plus icon right here. So here you don't search for it. You can easily go to reusable. And we have buy button right here. Just click on it. And it will be inserted. Now upon inserting it, you don't have to edit the text right away. First of all, you need to go to options. Then you convert it to regular blocks. Otherwise, if you don't do that and you enter whatever text, it will go and replace the name by button to the new text you will be using. Since we don't need this, let me go ahead and delete it by going to options, remove advanced button. Now we can update our content. Click on save in order to save the reusable blog. Perfect. And now creating our affiliate marketing website is done. All what you need to do is keep on adding content onto your website because that is what I'm also going to do. So that's it on how you can create or start an Amazon affiliate marketing website. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.